Hey, it's Dan here again, and today we're going to be doing a very simple uh, chicken and noodles. I've got some uh, chicken breast tenders here I'm going to cube up, and then I'll brown up. And i got my favorite seasoning blend that I put in, and I've got the extra white egg noodles. I'll use about half that pack, and then, of course, chicken broth, and then I'll be putting some other seasonings in it, like garlic, salt, pepper, and all that. Well, let me get the chicken cubed up and I'll be right back with you. All right, I got a little bit of oil heating up in my uh, <coughs> number eight Lodge Dutch oven. It's a uh, five quart. I got the chicken cut up into about one inch cubes. Like I said, this was the uh, breast tenderloins. I seasoned it with just a little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to get it all browned up first. Okay, so the chicken is all browned up and everything, looking real good. Let me just make sure nothing's sticking. I'm going to add my uh, seasoning blends. I have two packages of these. Now, since these are frozen, it's going to take the temperature down real quick. But that's exactly what I'm using. And if you notice, I use these in a lot of recipes. I try to make everything as quick and as simple as I possibly can. Especially seeing how we do a lot of camping and everything and we're out on the houseboat a lot. I mean, I just Buying the packet of frozen stuff is just so much easier. Save you so much time to Mix that in with the pound of chicken I have in there Get that cooked up, and I'll be right back with you. All right, let's get checking on everything. Hmm, the lid's starting to get warm already. Oh yeah, that is cooking down real good. So I'm gonna add my chicken broth. And that's 32 ounces of chicken broth. I'm going to turn my heat back up so I can get it back up to a boil. And before I add my noodles, I will be putting water in this to top it off. But I like to simmer this for at least an hour before I put my noodles in. And then about a half hour after that, the uh, noodles are usually done, sometimes 45 minutes. Let's get us a spoonful of minced garlic. And that might look like a lot of garlic, but I promise you by the time this is done, that will not be that much garlic. I like putting a little bit of Italian seasoning in mine. You can pick whatever seasonings you like for yours. And then I spice mine up just a hair with a little bit of crushed red pepper flake. But I don't put a whole lot in here because my wife and my son just don't like hot stuff. That's why I have jars of hot sauce in the house because I usually have to spice my stuff up later. Let me get this all stirred together. Once this comes up to a boil, I'll put the lid back on. 
and I'll let it simmer for about an hour. Well, I'll see you guys here in about an hour. Alright, it's been a little over an hour now, and uh, I added the water in there, and I just tasted it a few minutes ago, and I'm sure it's going to need a little bit more pepper. And I brought it back up to a boil after I uh, added the water. Now I'm going to put about half this bag of egg noodles in here. Or maybe just a little bit more than half the bag. That was a 16 ounce bag. So a little more than 8 ounces of noodles are in there right now. I'll give them a chance to uh, soak up everything in here. And uh, I'll check on it. I might add a few more noodles. But I'm really wanting this to be a soup. So uh, I'll bring this back up to a boil. And I will check back in with you here in just a little bit. All right, it's been about 30 minutes. I'm going to check on this. Still a lot of liquid in there. Oh, but everything, noodles are coming along real good. I believe I'm going to go ahead and throw that other half bag of noodles in here. And if it does make it too thick, I've got probably three quarters of an inch to the top, so I can always add some more water. But I believe. And this might be too much. I'll put these in and uh, we'll simmer it for another half hour and we'll check on it. And uh, I don't know, that might have been a mistake right there, but there's only one way to find out. So I'll see you all here in probably another half hour or so and we will see how it's coming along. Well, it's been about another half an hour now, and I got everything simmering good. I believe that the whole package of noodles was the ticket. It's been on a total for two hours, and it is looking good. I'm getting ready to take it inside and get a big bowl of this, and I'm going to grill up some uh, grilled cheese to go with it. But I hope everybody enjoyed the video and likes it. It was real simple. I mean... Yeah, it takes two hours cook time, or hour and a half actually, if I would have put the whole bag of noodles in to begin with. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll be putting more videos out of uh, simple recipes. Y'all have a great day.